All right, all right. So here we're here, day two, day two in real life, day whatever as we're uploading this. Day three, day four, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gonna hit everybody with the like and subscribe. We'll just get that out of the way real fast, and we'll move on. What do you want to do first? Which ones? Which ones do you want to do? Like we don't have to do them all. Uh, I mean, let's just go through the knights. They're the easiest. You get knights. I mean uh, knights. Knights is. They... Uh, let's see. What is what did knights even get? I actually didn't read the knights one. You get an aura of battle. You have to make a battle shock. Just minus one. Battle round one onwards. Battle round three onwards. Oh, I see. So it changes. Oh, okay, okay. So at on turn one, everyone within twelve battle shocks minus one. On turn three, everyone battle shocks. Uh, or wait, what? Oh, oh so, so it stacks. I got it. It stacks. It's so at 3, you then also get, when battle shocked, you add 1 to the wound, and minus 1 to hit. I mean, other than the fact that it relies on battle shocking, so it'll be great against some people, shit against others. Uh, they can ignore terrain features. That's pretty nice. Uh, 4 or less, which is going to be weird. Four. I guess you can't, land, you can't stand geez. on it, but you can walk through it. Oh, alright. Four is, is pretty chunky. Uh, over models and terrain features. Wow. So basically, you can't like body block them either. What if I put my hand up? It's taller than four. <laughs> then, then yeah, or you can't do that. Then my wing is high. <laughs> like oh 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 oh. Well, oh. well, you're not a terrain feature, so you're. Oh, I guess models it's, too. It's models. Yeah, can move over models. What model is four? Just Titanic. tall. Yeah. What if my what if my uh, wing is up high and I'm on my tail? What wing? <laughs> A flyer? If I'm a what if I'm a hive or, or a hive tyrant? Oh, if you're a hive tyrant? And yeah. what, you model the hive tyrant you sideways? Can't, you can't uh, you can't walk over me, I'm too I'm too tall. Like oh. Are you too wide? Do you do you flying sideways? Like like what? What are we you talking about? Around. I guess you could go around. I'm sure I'm sure you could also just murder the hive tyrant, you're you're a knight. Uh right. Um and then you get dread blades, whatever chaos keyword. What is so this? either one Titanic chaos knight or up to three war dogs in your army. Yeah, yeah. What's this aura do? Uh, what for aura? the purpose, uh, the forged in terror, the detachment one. Uh, if a unit has a starting strength of one, it's considered to be blah blah blah. What, what does it do? In a battle shock step of your opponent's command phase, if an enemy is below starting strength, oh, you auto battle shock. Yeah, you just have the battle shock. Oh, instead of half. That's right. It's instead of half. It's just below uh, starting. Yeah. I mean, that's. You basically okay. battle shock people all the time. Yeah, yeah. You just do a lot of battle shocking. May may or may not be good for you. I mean, depending on the army, like playing. against like yeah. if you're fighting Tyranids, this will be hilarious. Like, cause they're just gonna <laughs> they're screwed. Cause they're like battle shock. Well, like they're like nine or eight or something like that. Tyranids just gonna be like you get to do that every turn. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> They're just better Tyranids. That's all they are. We only get to do that once a turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get to do it all the time. All right. <laughs> Hilarious. It's already uh, better than Tyranids, so like, yeah. sure. All right. Let's check these enhancements out. Uh, what will you do? So these are all on knights, right? So like, they'll be yeah. on something big. Start of the fight phase. Pick an enemy unit with an engagement. Somebody. Oh, you battleshock somebody. Oh, whatever. You're already battleshocking uh, people. It's a little weird doubling up on that one. I don't know. Yeah. I mean... Because your mechanic is you're already battle shocking people. Wait. Uh, no, no, you just you battle shock them no matter what. So even if they didn't lose guys, they automatically. I guess, but the detachment thing is, right? Like if they're uh, even if they've taken one wound, you're already battle shocking them. It also works on their. Oh, I guess you're fighting back on their turn. Right. I guess if you didn't kill a guy, they still get the battle. So shock. basically, yeah, if it's full happen. strength, then like right. they can battle shock. Uh, which is not, it's not that great. Yeah. All right. Aura of Terror. Uh, if you control an objective at the end of your command. You get to keep control of it. Okay. You hold the objective anyway. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, what else does it do? If a Chaos Knight from your army, subtract one from Battle Shock and Leadership Test taking for enemies yeah, within just, 12. Yeah. All it right. just gives the, the objective your... Um... Oh, you curse the objective. I got you. You curse I got the you. objective, yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean that's probably good for this army. I don't I don't know if they yeah. have anything else like that. And they only I have think like... be kind of pretty good on some armagers and run them to objective just to hit them. Yeah, well I mean the main thing is because you got so few models anyway, like you can't really waste the knight yeah. holding an objective. Uh, Traitor's mark. 
Doom and Darkness is active for the bearer from the first battle. Jesus! Doom and Darkness is the is the level 3 one, right? Yeah. yeah. So you get that from the uh, first turn? I That's really actually not like too bad. I any of these. Uh, uh, what's it's something? so weird. Um, each time an attack made against the bearer, subtract one from the armor pin. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really like any of these. This is another one where their their abilities are playing off the army rule, but it's not really helping the model per se. No, it's yeah, it's 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 not it's not buffing the model. Yeah, it's but, not but, buffing the model. But here's my argument for that: these are friggin' knights. Like, I mean, yes, <laughs> like they're already strong. Right. Like, how, what? It, what? What? What's plus one strength gonna do on a knight? Nothing. That's, what's plus I mean, one toughness better, gonna do on a knight? Nothing. It's That's, better than than uh, having to enhance to get your uh, army uh, rules. I mean, space wolves. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not space wolves. <laughs> space wolves. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, for for on a knight specifically, like I, I don't want it to where, buff yeah, one punch strength. I can see where, know? like, if you gave them like lethal hits or something, it would be a little overpowered. All right, they're swinging at you with like 20 hit attacks. Like, you you can't give that shit lethal hits. They like, probably already have lethal hits. That, well, that's the thing too, right? Like, yeah. which we'll check out in a sec. But yeah, I mean, like, what can you really give them as as upgrades? That's not just gonna like literally make them ridiculous. It just seems, just looking at the, this this way, like it seems weaker compared to what other people get. And I understand that they're probably stronger, but... Right, right, right. I mean, relative, I guess that's what it is. It's right. It's one that I feel like you're going to have to play it to see just how useful they actually are. Because, yeah, you're right, on paper, I wouldn't want this on a yeah. captain. But I also don't want plus one strength on a knight, you know? So, yeah. Let's check out these strats. Let's check out the strats. Any good? Uh, yeah, this is, okay. What's that? War dogs. This just, this just reads like all the other stuff where it's like, oh, in addition, if this happened, you get this rule. Yeah, that's pretty much what uh, all these right. strats are gonna say. So yeah. dreadhound is basically you choose war dog units. Yeah. Uh, all their weapons get sustained one. Okay. Which is nice. Yeah. Uh, if they're battle shocked, uh, you crit out of five plus. So that's generic rule. Okay. A lot of people have the plus ability crit five plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only works on a war dog. Only works on a war dog, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. The stain for the uh... week. Chaos Knight. Six up, feel no pain. Five up if they're battle shocked. Cool. This would be like a really weird army to fight against Dark Angels. <laughs> I mean, Dark Angels is going to be a weird army Dark to fight Angels against. Dark Angels will get all of their extra rules, and you would get your rules. Yeah, it's just, it's just party all the time. Apparently. <laughs> I just want to have a Dark Angels versus Chaos Knights battle. Let's see. Uh, Pedro Shades roll 66 for each 4 plus. Oh. Yeah. This is actually kind of cool. I like this. It's pretty neat. That was neat. Yeah. It's only one CP, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any phase just after enemy. Oh, they have to battle shock. Right, right. It's pretty but, good, though. But it's basically a drain effect because you get to right. heal also. And healing on a knight uh, is, is way better. So. So that's a, this is the weird one where it's like, if you deal six mortal wounds and you only have two guys left, you still heal the six mortal wounds. Well, what do you mean? Because it's it's for the, each roll. So if there's only two wounds in the unit, yeah, you kill the two guys, would you get six back? Yeah, yeah. Like because it's not it, per guy you kill. Right. It's yeah. not it's not when they lose a wound you gain a wound. It's yeah. you gain the wound on each four plus. Right. Yeah, it's not a, it's not like a literal drain effect. Uh, yeah, I was also looking at some videos, and and Carmine, uh, uh, the 40k VTuber, uh, he has a video that states there is no minimum uh, damage. What do you mean? So if there's something that says reduce damage by one, you yeah. can't reduce it to zero. There is no minimum. Has GW not FAQ'd that yet? No one has FAQ'd it. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the other thing: there's no FAQ on half damage. Do you round? up or down there's there's no faq on that because because some people half damage yeah so if you take one point of damage you half it to 0. 0.5 right to half right right which you, you can't have, have a half damage half of a wound <laughs> right which, yeah. which you don't right well okay right. so so here's here's the thing that that i'll also say to that in ninth edition they it's not in the rules either that it's minimum one oh, really? and you round hey. up no gw hey, had hey, to hey, faq hey. it in okay. that it's minimum damage one rounding up 
So, which is stupid. You think, do you think GW would would like would have learned? recognize it and put it in their rules? Yeah, you think they would have recognized it, but they didn't. But I okay. So in all honesty, though, like just from a game design standpoint, you're an idiot if you think yeah. it's gonna be. You can go below zero. It's, it's pretty much gonna be minimum. Right, it's minimum one. Right. Right. So like, I, I understand that people are doing it for the content. Yeah, it's, for, it's right. kind of an unwritten rule, and I know GW is just gonna be like, it's it's minimum one. Minimum one, right? And for the content, I'm also gonna say all you other VTubers who say otherwise are just an idiot. So that's for the content also. But yeah, it's it's minimum one. Just play it that way. Uh, let's see. Long leash. Oh. What is this? War dogs just, again. Oh. Counts as being in any aura. Yeah. Okay, so you get the aura effects. Even if you're not. Alright. Uh, Knights of Shade. It's pretty Two nice. Dogs. Or uh, one. Or uh, one. Titanic. Titanic. Uh, you can walk through terrain. So, there you go. If, if you got a Tyranid player who made their <laughs> Hive Tyrant sideways. Hey, well, fuck you then. <laughs> just pop a strat. Walk through them. Oh, it's only terrain, but I guess you could go around. The, you go through the terrain instead of the bottom. No terrain. Models and terrain. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, model. Yeah. Nope. Or is all the yeah, but they're models and terrain. That's pretty there cool. Go. There you go. That's pretty good. I think. I think that's. Uh, I think uh, giants have that too. Yeah. Yeah. They can. They can just flat out ignore. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's this? Diabolic bulwark. One chaos knight unit from your army. Four plus uh, invuln against ranged attacks. Oh, that's just the uh, the shields. The shields. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. I don't play knights, good or bad. I don't have any context whether any of these are good or not. I mean, they allowed they they gave them some movement jank so they can't get trapped anymore. That's important. Like right. they, this one seems to focus a lot on the war dog. Seems to be a big play for this. Yeah, that you that you're using the war dogs. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think we were also talking about this the first time they did all the previews in that. The Chaos Knights are very, like, like the the big things don't get buffed by the little things. Right. Like the little things get buffed by the big things, but it's a one-way street. Whereas the Imperial side of things, it everyone buffs everyone. Like, they're more friendly to each other kind of a thing. Yeah. So. Um, units, whatever, War Dog Executioner, whatever. Uh, it gets to, if you're below half strength, you add plus one to hit. Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's got guns. It's got to melt the guns. It's basically the regular. Is this armature. the shoot? The executioner is the shooty one, right? It's the shooty one. Yeah. And then what's the other one? The stalker uh, is the. You got the stalker. This is kind of the shooty one. He's got. This is the the exclusive one, I think, because it's got the Avenger chain cannon. Uh, each time this model makes an attack that targets an enemy unit, if there are no other units from your opponent's army within six, you add plus one to wound. Okay. That one's pretty good. I can see some people. Oh yeah, this is your yeah. This is the uh, the one with the chain talon. So yeah. It, what do you mean this one's exclusive? Was this one in like a box or something? This is the chaos version of the other of the the. Oh oh, like the Imperials uh, don't have a version of this. They they have a different one that has the chain sword. I think it has an auto cannon. Oh or okay. This, this guy or a Melta, something like that. The Reaper, the Avenger is a specific to this model. Oh okay okay, I see what you're saying. All right, it's it's not bad. I think it's I think that one's pretty good. That that's the better one. Well, then there's this is carnivore uh, one. This is the melee melee oh. one, right? Oh yeah, this is the full melee one. Uh, you can reroll charge rolls. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good. Fourteen inch move though. That's actually pretty Holy crap, nice. The heavy stubbers, pretty good. Rapid fire three. Yeah, three shots. Rapid six fire six shots. Three, so six shots at uh, yeah. 18. 18 is not yeah. bad. Yeah. With a 14 inch move on top of that, yeah, you can pretty much get around three. the table. Yeah, uh, okay. only one damage, no AP, but whatever. I mean, this is the melee one, so it's what's the melee attack? Uh, uh, 12. Attacks, oh, you only get AP one of two. these, one of these, what as a unit, you only get one. Oh, yeah, they're all one. Oh, were they more before? They used to be two. Hmm, you could used to be able to take them in units of two, now they're just units of one. So you basically can only get three of any one total. Right. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I bet you it's because the slots are different. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, here you got the... Now you have the Brigand. So the Shooty Shooty version. Shooty Shooty version. Where's that? The War Dog Brigand. Oh, there it is. There it is at the bottom. So 
another shooting uh, each version. time makes a ranged attack that targets the closest eligible unit improve the armor pen by one yeah okay i mean that's Pretty nice because now well yeah. this avenger chain cannon is ap minus one so it goes to ap minus two at 12 shots oh. yeah that's pretty good oh, okay. all of these uh are set their loadouts are set like you don't have a choice oh yeah 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 you're right there's no um there's no options no options this one's pretty good though the brigand the brigand's pretty yeah. good yeah yeah uh the huntsman this is pretty much the chain saw with the melta wait are these all war dogs they're all war dogs yeah basically every loadout that you could made they made a separate data sheet oh i see what i was like i swear they didn't have this many like all these yeah. little dudes so they just so, basically split them all up they split them all up by weapon uh set weapons i gotcha i gotcha okay which i think is just here just to below the the index but <laughs> I mean, they all get like a different little sub ability. They all get a little, yeah, a little special rule that makes them better at what they do. Yeah. Like the Huntsman, uh, if he's making an attack against a monster vehicle, you reroll wounds of one, reroll damage of one. Gotcha. Okay, so this is the anti vehicle one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, then you got the Knight Despoiler, which I think is your regular one. Oh, right, yeah. This is your generic Knight. He has the Battleshock Aura thing. Uh, makes everyone battle shock. He and also he gets, to gets to re one hit, one Okay. Uh, gets all the the weapon options, whatever. Blah, so blah, blah, this is blah. basically the build your own knight. This is the core knight. This is the yeah, okay. the base knight. Yeah. Okay. That has like all the weapons and. All right. Uh, he gets all the weapon options. So he's like tough twelve and twenty two wounds and a three up yeah. save. He's OC ten. Yeah. Oh, what's the OC on these war dogs? Two. No, Two? They're eight. Eight, sorry. Eight is actually really nice. Like, eight for the, the little guys? Yeah, they're yeah. all eight. Because that's more they than half a unit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, 12. points per OC, like, war dogs are kind of the better option, it seems like. Yeah. Then taking the, the, the bigger big guy. Knight. Yeah. yeah. They're faster, more OC. I mean, they're 12 wounds instead of 22, but if you get two of them... Right. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, What's a Desecrator? Uh, Desecrator... He shot his model, makes a ranged attack. It's a monster vehicle. That attack has devastating wounds. Oh, it's wow. got this uh, Desecrator laser. Which is... Like a super okay. loss cannon, basically, it looks like. He he buffs um, war dogs. Basically, they can reroll hit to one if okay. you're within nine. All right. Uh, All right. Or rage attacks. I do like this paint scheme they got on this desecrator, though. I will say yeah, that. Yeah, that's crazy. Cool paint All right. Uh, Rampager. This is the all melee version. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, uh, he gets this? sustained hits when he charges. Nice, nice. And uh, once per Ooh. battle, he can he charge. He can advance and charge. Yep. Hell yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Even if and it's once per buffs, battle. He buffs war dogs. Give him the them melee. Roll yep. melee at once, yeah. Okay. So it looks like you want to take a bunch of war dogs and one. Right. Knight, what, like, whatever the knight that's going to support yeah. your war dog build the best. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, knight Abominate. The uh, get wrecked by uh, is this the psycho one? Anti psych, yeah, this is the psycho one. <laughs> yeah, I I still think that being psychic should like reduce your point costs. It's it is more of a hindrance it's than such, a help. Yeah, it's such a hindrance. Yeah, I mean, sisters sisters of silence are wounding you on like threes or something. I don't remember. The, yeah, there's multiple armies this edition yeah. that are just like anti psycher. Um. Uh, what I got? Uh, Battle shock effect and a mortal wound effect. He base yeah he basically can has two psychic powers. Yeah, I don't like the the lack of AP on this dude. That's the thing. Yeah, too. his weapons kind of suck. Yeah, for I mean the Volkite's got devastating wounds, nine attacks at straight twelve. Yeah, but compared to like 
those poor files we just looked at. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not really. I don't think he's much that he's really worth. He's still the same stats. The psychic is whatever. Right. That's the he thing. His, only... his psychic powers aren't. Oh, it's on a three plus. Great. So it's not guaranteed to go off. No. It's not on a two plus. Yeah, it's not the two plus either. There's no penalty, but yeah, you need the three right. plus to get and the. And it's wolves. only D three. Yeah. So yeah, he's not that great. Maybe if he's cheap. Yeah. I mean, again, Psyker better be a, a point reduction. Yeah. I wish that Volkai was better. The Volkites are supposed to be way better than that, but. No, kind of this is nothing devastating. You're thinking 30k Volkites. I know. This well, no, not... the, even the 40k versions were way stronger than that. Yeah, not anymore. This is probably a sign that Volkites aren't. I think they heavily should have down. gave them devastating and lethal. That'd be nice. Well, so here's the thing. Someone commented on that, actually. You don't want both, because if you trigger lethal hits, you no longer roll your wounds. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you you shouldn't have both devastating yeah. and lethal. Yeah, someone commented that also, which I was like, good point to that one. What you want is you want lethal and sustained. Yeah, lethal and sustained. Right, because that's that gives you the extra. Uh, here's a tyrant. This is the big knight. This is the big one. All right. Uh, he gives all the war dogs cover. I mean, that's that's cool. Which means they get plus one saves. So they're yeah, saving plus one on saves. Twos. They're saving on twos. Yeah. I mean that that's cool. Interesting that I he knew. only buffs the war dogs though, not even the regular knights. Yeah, they all only buff war dogs. Okay. Uh, and you cannot deploy or you cannot uh, deep trek within twelve, basically. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah. Because it puts you out of, like, janky flamer range yeah. or, like, completely out of charge range. Gives you a nice bubble. Right, right. I think he's better. He's probably the best with the war dogs, unless you're going to take the specific. Yeah, so what I would say is you're probably taking one tyrant, one regular knight that's specific to the rest of the war dogs, and then just yeah. a bunch of war dogs after that. Yeah. Which I guess that differentiates them from imperial knights, I suppose. Yeah, that's the last one. Yeah. Right. So they're they're basically they basically hunt in packs. That's what it is. Uh, I, I see. So that's that's kind of the flavor of of yeah. the chaos knights is, it's it's a few big guys herding around a bunch of little bunch guys. Of little guys. Yeah. Just thugging it up, basically. They just. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of. I mean. The the little guys are really good. You you kind of have to. I don't I don't know how people's knights collect or chaos knights collection is right now but right, you'd have right. to have a lot of war dogs yeah yeah that's kind of i think they like. did this because it's more playable because the war dogs generally are cheaper than a full knight that makes sense too it gets it gives you more bodies on the table yeah. also all right again having neither played nor played against a, right. a chaos knight army especially this i can only assume that uh, this is going to highly depend on their points. Yeah, yeah, I 100% agree on that one yeah. because every model is going to count in this low model count army. Like I would, I would give. If we're tearing this, I would give it a B right now. Yeah, depending on I'd those give points. Give it a B, depending on the points. I don't know if they'd go to an A. If they're dirt cheap, they definitely if go they're to an super A. Super <laughs> cheap, yeah. But I'd give them a B. Like I mean. What do we have at bottom of, of... Okay, so what we agreed upon was if you're not better than Space Wolves, because Space Wolves we put in the B tier. I mean, they're not better than Space Wolves because Space Wolves are at least Marines. They're at least Marines. They still got Ultha Moment. Right. Yeah, right, right. Uh, at the at the bottom, what we decided the bottom of A tier was is Dark Angels. So I don't think they're better than I don't Dark think Angels yeah. either. Yeah. yeah. No, they're B. Because uh, I always said they're better than Tyranids. Uh, I like them better than Tyranids. <laughs> they have a lot of abilities that just rely that you fail that battle shock. Right. So you do you do get a one bonus, and then a secondary. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. On, on that, they're kind of like Dark Angels, but right. It's gonna depend on points. I I think if their points are reasonable, yeah, I'd say they're bottom A maybe. They, they could get into A if you can get enough get from the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see what you're saying. I think if, they can do more, and they're easy to play. Right. 
you're just gonna take packs of war dogs and then some big guys like, right because I'll, I'll be like i agree with you like if you can get like two extra war dogs that's such a big right. bump compared to like two less war dogs you're probably yeah. just gonna get rolled like that's that's the kind of fine line that knight's gonna run on you see what did they say uh yeah. oh that's only if uh that's basically you could ally them with chaos i mean that that's cool i, I like that i could just stick a knight into my chaos army yeah but that's fair you can include either one titanic or up to three war dogs that's cool i actually might stick the war dogs in yeah. Honestly, the war dogs seem the most interesting part. To they're they're a little so they're a little more flexible. They kind of lose more of their abilities because you don't have a guy that's buffing them. True. But true. you could like like the melee. Oh, that's still uh, that'd be a good chunk of points. I was about to say you could take the melee one because usually the melee one's the cheaper version. Yeah. But the I... war dogs themselves bring a lot of flexibility. True. It's kind of like also the distraction carnifex theory. Right. Like, if you're running a war dog up in someone's face, they have to deal with it. Right. I mean, eight eight OC, pretty yeah, good. Eight OC Three can up, steal it OC from like problems. a like yeah. a small unit or something. It can Ooh, steal there's... a thing. Leadership kind of sucks. <laughs> Leadership seven. Yeah. I mean, you you're basically you get the seven, so like you're still better than fifty fifty. That's true. They're not you're horribly bad. You're not you're not Tyranids. Yeah. <laughs> that are less than fifty fifty. That's it's super risky because that's kind of. There is a chance you can lose that ten uh, or that eight OC by making no, a Oh, that's true. Roll. Yeah, one bad yeah. roll, you lose all eight OC. Yeah, that's true. That's a rough one. It's like it's certain armies, but they're still really powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. That's knights. Knights. Yeah. I, it's gonna fair. highly depend on their points. This this one is definitely yes, point dependent. But here it is. Yeah, I, be here. I think at a thousand, oh. if you can take one knight, maybe two knights and like four armagers, that'd be really good. <laughs> if you can get that much, damn, that's a lot. Yeah, that'd be really then, good. I agree. You could probably get one knight and four armagers. One knight and four armagers is B tier. If you can get yeah. two knights and like four armagers or like one big knight. And like, or like the the big super one, and like three armagers, like that's really good. Yeah, like I think you could probably do two really cheap knights and four armagers. I'm just trying to think of the current points. Right, right. Uh, that would be really good. I think that'd be a good. Army. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really good, because you got to deal with a lot at that point. Yeah. That's, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's I don't know. It, it's just it's, just it's gonna. Be it's going to be points. It's also going to come down to just see how the game plays. I know True. they have OC. Yeah, they have t they have 8 OC on the War Dogs, but if you lose it, you lose it all. Like, yeah. you don't have that many models. Right, that's the thing. Yeah. It's, it's uh, if they get the, that's why those extra models will make such a big difference in this army. Right. Yeah. Uh, their stratagems are not that super great, so you don't really care if you can't put your, you can't, um, use your stratagem on your models. So, I mean, the the stratagems are all for the war dogs, though. So, like you said, yeah. If you, and I think some of the stratagems let you pick multiple war dogs. Yeah, yeah. two or more, or three or more, up to two, up to so it's three. A, it's, a, it's an iffy play. Like I would, it would depend. I would have to see how they work this edition. Like so, f for the most part, in previous in the uh, ninth, knights just kind of suffered because of they don't have enough bottle count yeah yeah we'll have to see i mean there's also some jank out there that could probably annihilate a knight in one turn i mean there's a lot of things that uh, i guess that makes sense also because that's that makes a bigger effect against right. a small model count army against a like small this. model card yeah yeah yeah, like yeah, that's rough losing too. one of your big models in the first turn from a uh, like a blind combo. firing, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> blind firing desolation squad that has sustained hits and lethal, yeah. Or not only that, but uh, there's that. I mean, even if you spend the 400 points for the triple assault cannon, hellfire round oh, yeah. uh, squad, but <laughs> like if you squad, can, yeah. if you shoot a big knight that's 400 points, then that's you're golden. You know what I mean? Like right. Yeah. So again, yeah, it's it's gonna be really 
model count and matchup specific on this one. It's hard to rate. I think that's why B is, is the best place I feel... For I think they're going to have a hard time. I just think Marines have too much jank. <laughs> not just Marines. I think there's other things also. Yeah, that's, that's it's, the thing too. I mean, it's we, not just Marines. It's mostly because Marines are what's out right now. Right, right. We're going to compare everything to Marines, but... Right. Because I've peeked at some of the, the other Chaos things, and like even against some of these other Chaos ones, there's there's some tricks in, in some of these yeah. Chaos armies. Uh, 